Terry, we come down to the Browns. Season is finished, and uh, so it's that time of year again. So what do we do? We talk quarterbacks. All right. It's a couple interesting <laughs> things here. I don't see any quarterback worth the number one pick. I'm not even sure any of these guys at the top ten pick is a quarterback. They <laughs> Certainly they will be. Right. I watched Mitch Trubisky, and look, he's a out your way mentor kid. What right. did you think about him? Uh, the other day, I th- I mean, it was mixed. He, he's got a great arm. Seems no, to have a pretty good head. A but, uh, I think well, he has a pretty good arm. Well, yeah, yeah. But he's got a great, to me, a great college arm maybe. I don't know how it's going to yeah. translate to the NFL. And a lot of that is reading. I mean, one of the most impressive things in that game was he threw like two touchdown passes that were dropped before they finally right. the one guy yeah. caught the one right. and, yeah. um, and made a good play. So he, he looked like there, of course, it was interesting too. You know, he faced a defensive coordinator, basically had a month to prepare for right. him, and they confused him a little yeah. bit. Yeah. In fact, that's part of the reason some of these uh, quarterbacks look so bad in the ball games is the preparation time. Preparation sure. time has yeah. been very wide. Um, I, I, here's what bothers me about Trubisky. He's only started one year. Right, yeah. He just needs to play. Very more. young, yeah. Like, this guy's going to yeah. play in the NFL. Yeah. He is. Then you watch Deshaun Watson, and you think? <laughs> it's a great talent. Uh, I've, I've, I haven't seen him throw enough that I that I feel comfortable about his yeah. arm I mean, as an NFL quarterback. He's just Dak Prescott, who people said the same thing about. Right, exactly. Or is he yeah. you know, one yeah. of these other kind of athletic yeah. running quarterbacks that you can't quite figure out what to do with? Yeah. I mean, look, he's got good leadership skills, and clearly he knows how to take the team into big games and yeah. play well. So it's a hard one for Well, there's for the a, almost an, an area to compare. Robert Griffin III, coming out of yeah. Baylor, was very much like Deshaun Watson. I will say this. RG3's arm in college was, it just lit up. Right, arm yeah. Strength. yeah. yeah. This guy's arm is pretty good, but not that. So... It, you know, you, you go down the line with those couple guys or some other quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, the Browns have to take a quarterback. Someplace, right? Somewhere. Yeah. I mean, but if you think about it, two of the best quarterbacks taken recently are Russell Wilson and Dak Prescott. Yeah, both taken third, little, round third round and fourth, fourth round. round. Yeah. yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that's where you shop. The odds right. are against you. But it's why you keep – I mean, why does Bill Belichick every single year draft a quarterback? You're trying you to find somebody, somebody down there. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious to see what they do on that. You know, do you trade down a few notches and take Trubisky? Maybe something right. like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so I – you know, we we're, were into that stage. But to just to say that we're fine with our Robert Griffin III and Cody Kessler and we'll take a guy in the sixth round, no, don't do right. that. <laughs> I can tell you that. That's not what to yeah. do, yeah. exactly what they should do. You know, we're going to debate for a while. But they can't fool themselves with RG3, and that, that's not the way to go.